What's up guys and welcome to day 28 of Hansween. We're doing it. We're fucking doing it, you guys. Today's look is this Phoenix and I took a lot of inspiration from my angel look from last year. So many people loved it and so I wanted to bring a different look to it and make it just red and orange and flamey as shit. All product details will be listed down below as usual and let's do it. I'm starting off with a base of foundation and my brows glued down. You could still leave your brows if you want and do them, but I ain't about that life. I contour my face using a normal contour shade that suits my skin tone and use whichever one suits yours. I'm then dipping into Sugar Pills Butter Cupcake Eyeshadow, which is a bright ass yellow. You want to use super pigmented matte shadows for this. I'm putting the yellow all over my face in more of a bird-like shape. I'm making the eyes kind of move outwards and the nose long and slim like a little beak. But a cute beak, not a creepy ugly beak. Now start to just darken and intensify the look with a little bit of bright orange. I'm mixing between the orange and yellow again just to make it super bright. Sometimes if you put down a color, layering another color on top of it will make it stand out more. I'm staying pretty much in the same shape that I'm doing before, but now just really intensifying the features, dipping into red as well. I really like to darken underneath this little brow bone we got here and my temples. Again, creating movement in the look will make it look more bird-like. So you want to keep the eye moving from one side of your face over your nose into the other. If your red shadow isn't too bright, if you pop on some orange on top, it'll bring it out just a little bit more. Adding a tiny bit of the orange shadow all over my cheeks just to give it a little bit of a blush. Moving on to the neck, my angel had this beautiful collar of feathers and I wanted to do the exact same thing, pretty much the same shape, everything. I'm using some orange body paint. This is from Fab. Fill in your entire neck first. I even kind of used it to contour out my chin because I want my chin to look sharp as fuck and it's not. I got me a double chin. After that's all full, you want to draw out your little feather shapes at the bottom. You don't need to worry too much about them right now. How all the other feathers will lay, just add some little jagged shapes at the end. Beginning at the top of the neck, use a red body paint to start drawing out the feathers. You could do this with eyeshadow if you want, but the body paint will make it stand out much more, and since we're doing a phoenix, I want this just bright. It's a pretty classic shape. Mine on my angel were a little softer. These ones are a little more curved. But you want to start at the top first, because the top are going to layer over the bottom ones. If you started at the bottom and then tried to draw your way up, they wouldn't really have much of a layered look. Also, if you want it to look a little more realistic, don't do them in exactly just the same pattern. Kind of have some coming out here, sticking out there, some in between. I don't like when collars don't really have a transition into our face. They look like two separate pieces to me. So I used a little bit of yellow and orange eyeshadow just to kind of extend it onto my face. To give these feathers some shadows, since they are laying on top of each other, I'm using that same red shadow we used earlier underneath each one. Every feather, since it's laying on top of the other one, would be casting a shadow downwards. And since we're going with fiery reds and oranges, of course we're going to use red to shade. Using body paint first will also really help these red shadows to pop the fuck out. Just like our feathers had shadows on top of each other, the collar would have a shadow onto our skin. So use that same contour shade you used earlier just to add right underneath the collar itself. My little white angel had these little wispy hairs that came off the feathers to give it more of that soft ethereal look, so I'm doing that same exact thing but this time with yellow body paint. I'm not doing it the exact same on every single one, I'm trying to think of these feathers like snowflakes. Each one is a little different, so each one isn't just the exact same pattern as the next one. Some I'm even just putting a couple little hairs, some quite a few, but mainly all over the entire piece, keeping the center of it heavier just so that the focus is right in the center of our face. Again, think of that movement. You want that movement. Still using that yellow body paint, I draw a couple little dots from the collar onto our face, 
and bring those down onto the actual feathers too. No rhyme or reason, I just like some yellow dots. For the lips, this is the new Benefit lipstick. I actually just got it in the mail the day I filmed this. It's a super creamy lipstick and it's made with two colors, so it has a bit of an ombre, but it didn't really give too much of an ombre to me, but I love the color. I ain't about that creamy lipstick life though, so I used a little bit of mattifying powder to make it nice and matte. For this step, you could use red eyeliner, but I just went ahead and used a liquid lipstick that I had laying right by. I'm drawing my winged eyeliner out like I usually do, just sketching on one side, extending that wing, and to extend it out into the inner corner, it's very easy. Just follow your same eye shape and then just pull the color into your little waterline a little bit. If you follow your natural eye shape, then they should pretty much come out just about the same. Coating my lashes a bit in that same liquid lipstick. There are red mascaras or eyeliner you could use if you're unsure about putting liquid lipstick by your eyes because it is a bitch to get off. Let me tell you that. It's a bitch and a half. I still have red eyes. But in that case, coconut oil is your best friend. You already know. I gotta accentuate that beauty mark though. I got these lashes from Amazon. They are pretty cheap there. Just some feather lashes. Popped those on real quick. And I had my contacts in, but I took one out because I couldn't see what the fuck I was doing. My angel look, it had some gems all over the eyes in this exact same kind of pattern, so I just wanted to do that, but with just some red paint. But if you're feeling, you're feeling crazy, you could use some red sequins or some red gems. That'd look pretty sweet. And that is the entire tutorial. I popped on some yellow screen contacts from Camo Eyes and this red wig that I got from Amazon. You could get another person and you could do the angel or they could do the phoenix or whichever. Or you could just do both in one day. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are just the shit. I'm currently in New York right now as this is being posted. So follow me on Snapchat to see my little New York festivities that are going on. I love the fuck out of you guys and I'll see you tomorrow.